going on everyone welcome back to the channel so there you go there's the dash that's the uh crossbar that is the heater core assembly and this thing right here is what i gotta switch so i'm not sure if y'all saw it on the uh, last video but i went ahead and found but actually I went, I found a company out in the UK who makes these for the Mark IV Supras. And you know, they hook you up with everything that you need. The stuff that you can't really buy here in the States. And uh, I had it shipped over here. I don't know how it's possible that something from the UK, I don't, know how, I don't understand how it's possible that something from the UK will arrive a lot sooner than if I were to order something from California. It's crazy. Customs paperwork, but here it is. This is the replacement. See, this one's actually exactly where it needs to go in there. Uh, very, very friendly. If y'all need something like this, uh, let me know and I can send you the information. But yeah, I just spent the last three hours getting all this out. It's not that bad pretty easy i mean people are making it seem like it's hard i'm just kidding it was a freaking nightmare that is the biggest pain ever i hope i never ever ever have to do this again and i hope that y'all never have to do this i mean it is so much work so much work out of everything I've done to the car this has probably been the most difficult I mean I've done this already on my Mustang I have removed it but this was just next level this was a lot this I had a lot to do I had a lot to uh, I had a lot to remove just to get this piece out but now I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out for the new one and uh, put everything back together. So, I'm gonna make it easy for y'all. And one, two, three. All right, so it is not what I expected y'all to see after that. So, I ran into more issues. <laughs> and I tore apart more of the interior. So, the issue that I ran into is, um, I forgot I needed to change, well, it's not really an issue, but I, I need to change the lighting on the cluster. And it has some blue LEDs right now. Doesn't look good. My wife doesn't like it either. So we're gonna put the white LEDs so it can look like mine, like on my Supra. And all the trim, I I don't know if y'all remember when I first painted it, I told y'all more likely I was gonna end up redoing it. Well, I am. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now since everything's out. I just my wife doesn't like it and that this really really bothers me i i don't like it whatsoever so i'm gonna be redoing that to a flat black and if you see if y'all can tell i took up all this because um well when i bought the car it didn't have seat belts any seat belts not even one so i just bolted this on right now and uh, I'm gonna put on the rear seat belts and the front seat belts. That's why this is a part. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. So just give me a minute. And there we go. We have seat belts, front and rear. Since so this is gonna be a family car, <laughs> um, but it's fixing to rain, so I gotta get those seats back into the car. Um, but yeah, here's the. Little progress, this is probably two days worth uh, as far as the heater core, you know, removing everything, putting all this stuff back in, bolting all the, the center console back up. Um, I did remove the factory subwoofer harness um, right here. I don't need that. I also removed the subwoofer. I don't know if y'all remember, there was a box here. Put the battery there. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and put the seats back in and I may sand down the trim and start painting. Yeah, but I mean, if you guys ever take on a project like this, um, you know, the only reason I 
am going through all this is because this is a hard tough super they're very very hard to find uh if it wasn't for that i would not have went forward with this car uh because it's just too many missing parts it, it, getting parts for these uh cars for the mark IV supers are very expensive and hard to find so uh just because of that just because of the hard top i'm going through all this um i mean just give you all an idea uh, i had to buy these separate i don't have the bolts i had to go get the bolts for it and almost no store has them um yeah that was a pain and also the trims like all these plastics that go in here they are uh, pretty expensive and check this out see how that one looks over there look at this this one's broken here's a piece here right here wait no this ain't the piece uh, this one right here see this goes in there like the, like somehow like this well i got myself one of those uh plastic welders and uh, i'm gonna be plastic welding that back together um and i need it for several things i'm gonna be welding that piece of plastic back together and also i'm not sure y'all remember from one of the first videos uh this bumper still cracked so i'm going to be plastic welding this from the inside and i'm gonna put some mesh inside of it it's gonna reinforce it and then that way i can finally go finish and bolting this lip back up but that's just one of the many many things uh that we're that we have to do um but as far as interior we're very very close to finishing i and i'm gonna redo these here i may wash them and then paint them these are the covers that go back here for the speakers uh these speakers are already in the car but i am not gonna keep those i may use those for my clips they look like decent speakers i'm not even sure what brand they are but i did order some better speakers speakers for the rear speakers for the front a nice stereo i gotta make uh, a template so i could put a subwoofer back here and uh, it's gonna be just a subwoofer the, the other side is going to be empty so that way she can put uh her groceries or whatever it is that she wants or the baby seat whatever she needs to put in here um but that's pretty much as far as the interior uh and that should not take me no more than a day or two so i'm hoping the next few videos is just going to be maybe two more videos it's just going to be interior work and we're going to be done <laughs> hopefully i really 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 don't want to take any steps back um so we'll finish that and then we can start work going on the outside i'm gonna go ahead and after that's done i'm gonna show you guys all the goodies i found not that i found all the goodies i bought for the engine bay uh it's, it's gonna look really really good it's gonna change the engine bay completely um and then also gotta fab up the exhaust um maybe start working on the body and we already do we already have a vinyl wrap for the car uh she chose a very very nice color so i'm really excited to show that for you guys uh, and i'm gonna be installing it myself how's it gonna come out i don't know but i'm gonna try it <laughs> um but yeah guys so there's just uh some updates of the car um also i am gonna be showing you guys how to restore these headlights uh can i open them up make them look really really nice and uh yeah i mean new brakes like i said before i mean we still got a lot of stuff to do to this car i mean and then once it's all done then we're gonna go and you know get it tuned and you know do a two-step and all that stuff but i mean in order to do it right it'll probably take a little bit longer than i expected i could do it really fast and it looks like it looks nice but it's just kind of putting band-aids over everything but i don't want to do that especially for this type of car um but yeah so that's just uh, some progress for you guys it's funny because every time i show it to you the interior is back together or it was apart then it's back together then i was apart and i was back together again and hopefully it's the last time <laughs> what i'm gonna do is leave you guys off here and on the next video I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the new, tr well, the better painted trim back on. I'm going to swap out the wheel. So I'm, I can't wait to show you guys the new wheel. It's really nice. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and also make a frame for the stereo so this car has a factory double dense uh, style stereo and it already has like the frame the thing that you bolt around the bot the the thing that you bolt around the stereo but just like everything else on this car it was missing and uh well it's 150 dollars for two pieces of metal just like really really thin metal and i don't really feel like spending that much money so i spent ten dollars i went to i went uh went to the hardware store i bought some steel and uh i'm gonna make my own try to at least should work but all right guys that's gonna be it for today uh this car has been a roller coaster progress i take Two steps forward, two steps back, but eventually uh, we'll start seeing a little bit more <laughs> progress. So, oh, and uh, before I let y'all go, there it is. If y'all know or have a passenger side kick panel, it's the piece of plastic that goes on the passenger side. Please let me know. Uh, from the entire interior, that's the only thing I'm missing. So if y'all know someone or have one please send me a message uh, i'm really interested hi right, guys um appreciate you guys watching catch you on the next one okay later